Gentlemen, I'm gonna keep the book. I'm convinced that Sniper Wolf is seriously acoustic in the head. I generally believe that Sniper Wolf's retardation peaked when she literally stalked, taunted, doxxed, but most importantly, made fun of Jack Stone's big ass forehead. And let me remind you really quick that the reason why Sniper Wolf did all that batshit crazy stuff to Jack's films is because Jack's films made the big mistake of fairly criticizing Sniper Wolf for stealing people's content, their hard work, without crediting them. But on top of that, Sniper Wolf will also add her own dog shit content. Her shit tent, which consists of her reacting to the videos that she stole, and by reacting I mean she's literally regurgitating or describing exactly what's happening in the video, and then she proceeds to add like one or two retarded faces. Oh, what's that? A whole entire car just rolled into the neighbor's yard. Like this. Why? This kid is mentally challenged. Like, no shit, this kid is acoustic. I mean, look at him. Why are you stating the obvious? Like, my bad, but when a kid is literally playing Minecraft on one monitor, watching TikTok on his phone, and then watching Sniper Wolf on, the, on his third monitor, like, it's pretty obvious that the kid is brain dead in the head. But as I was saying, I was convinced, I was personally convinced that Sniper Wolf's unhinged, like, acoustic behavior peaked with what she did with Jax films. But unfortunately, I was wrong. Just recently, a video from Net City confirmed my suspicion that Sniper Wolf is extremely mentally ill. Nat City, who is known for his extremely well-researched content, went into details about how Sniper Wolf's whole persona, whole content, and her success in general was stolen from another YouTuber. Now let me make this clear. I don't use the term stealing loosely at all. I'm very much aware that when it comes to reaction content, commentary content, like people are bound to react to the same content. They're bound to react to the same shit, commentate on the same topics. As long as you bring your own reaction, your own opinion, your own content, that's fine. It's not stealing. When I say stealing, I'm talking about Sniper doing something way worse than that. When I said that she finessed her way to the top by stealing another YouTuber's complete identity, it is as disturbing as it sounds. Some similarities between Azra and Leah just can't be helped, but others were manufactured intentionally. Uh, more plants that I'm stealing. A luscious, well taken care of plant. Hey man, can I copy your homework? Yeah, but change it up a little so the teacher don't notice. This is a mirror. And this is my favorite mirror. Finally got it and it doesn't really go with the house. I like mirrors. There may never be a better example of be careful what you wish for. According to NerdCD's research, Sniper Wolf stole not only the YouTuber Asylan's thumbnails, I mean, look at this shit. This is not even the copying your friend's homework but change a thing or two meme. This is literally saying, Fuck it, and then stealing the whole thing, not changing anything, and then wondering why your retarded ass got a zero. And I like how it took her less than a day to respond to these claims, whereas it took her like a week to tweet out the chat GPT shitty ass apology regarding the Jax Films doxing situation. It's literally the I sleep meme. <laughs> she gets exposed for being a psychopath who fucking docks the fuck out of Jax Films? I sleep. But when she gets exposed for stealing the YouTube format of Azuland, it's time to go damage control ASCP. Of course, Sniper Wolf's response is essentially her saying, no. It's Azzyland who stole from me. I'm the good guy here, okay? She essentially says that Azzyland went back on her old videos, changed the thumbnails of her old videos to make it seem that she was the one who started the thumbnail with the whole YouTuber with the open mouth, as if they're about to suck on the BBC with the red background behind the meta. Which proves that Sniper Wolf clearly didn't watch Net City's video where Net City completely debunked and predicted that Sniper Wolf would use that gaslighting argument by using the Wayback Machine and proving that it was indeed Azzyland who started the trend before Sniper Wolf. But you'll notice a pattern with Sniper Wolf. She says all that bullshit, like she says all of that bullshit, how it's never her fault, that she's the victim, but then proceeds to provide zero proof, zero evidence of what she's claiming. Whereas Azilan has hundreds of examples of Sniper Wolf stealing her thumbnails. <laughs> but don't worry guys, uh, Sniper Wolf is definitely the, the, the good guy here. Which reminds me of the Cancer Kid situation, when Sniper Wolf said it was the parents fault, the dying kid's parents fault, that she couldn't meet with the kid, because the parents were not being cooperative with her. It always seems to be everybody else's fault, but hers. But not only did Sniper Wolf steal Azzyland's thumbnails word for word and pixel for pixel. This is a mirror. And this is my favorite mirror. Fun Yo, uh, she even went as far as to copy the way she dresses. Okay, stealing someone's thumbnails like word for word, pixel for pixel, is one level of being a cunt. But literally stealing the way they look, the way they dress. I couldn't quite place what it was, and I started to make a montage out of it. The weird baby talk Ebonics that she's adopted for YouTube. Well, I do it on a daily basis and see if I like it. The Toronto accent got to be the most autistic accent of all time. It sounds like a 10 year old mentally disabled child who went to Jamaica for six months and picked up some of the lingo. So I wanted to attempt it. Golf ball. Golf ball. Wasp net. Wasp net. Cut in half. 
from some very naughty evil bees. And when I finally watched uh, some Azuland content, I was like, there it is. That's the voice. We don't care what you are. We don't care if you're not even the same species. Wait, they got a house? Why are they so angry all the time? Copy the way they talk. Think of it this way. Azilan is from Toronto. So her having an acoustic accent is completely normal. But Sniperwolf is not from Toronto. And, 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 and somehow she has the same retarded accent as Azilan. It's obviously her going as far as to steal even Azilan's voice. How can someone be so mentally deranged to go as far as to not only steal the way someone dresses, but also go as far as to steal their voice? Voice. Sniper Wolf's real personality must be so fucking dog shit that she has to steal someone's complete identity to be entertaining. <clears throat> and by entertaining, I mean entertaining to like brain dead kids, not entertaining to normal human beings. Uh, let's let's make that one clear. You know, when Sniper Wolf literally goes to the terminally ill cancer patient on a mutually agreed day, by the way, they were supposed to FaceTime one another for like what, five minutes? Well, last second, uh, Sniper Wolf decided to ghost that meeting because she was busy recording a video. She was busy partying that day. But it was a one-time thing though. It was a one-time thing of a sniper wolf being a little bitch ass. And you know, she was forgiven. But then she decided to dox the fuck out of Jack's film's big ass forehead. But you know, like she was given another chance. Like, you know, maybe it was only the second time of her being caught being a psychopathic bitch ass. But now, allegedly, of course, uh, according to Nerd, Nerd City's crazy research she's getting exposed for literally stealing everything about this Azilan YouTuber. Like, I don't know about you guys, but now it's the third time she's caught doing something absolutely unacceptable, psychopathic, crazy, like batshit crazy. Imagine copying the way someone talks, copying the, the way someone dresses. What the fuck? And this has supposedly been going on for five fucking years. But yeah, I just can't believe that despite these three unacceptable things, oh, and by the way, there's way more dirt about Sniper Wolf, like way more dirt. The fact that she's an ex-felon, <laughs> she's done way more unhinged shit, but let's not talk about that right now. Like these three alone, these three things alone, Ghosting a terminally ill cancer patient, stealing someone's complete identity, doxing the fuck out of Jackson's big ass forehead. That's enough. I, I mean, I would assume that it's enough to know that Sniper Wolf is not really a good person. But that hasn't stopped literally millions of motherfucking sims literally defending the fuck out of Sniper Wolf, thinking that she's in the right, thinking that, you know, everything that she's done is completely fine. Come on, Arm. Vito, she <laughs> broke the TOS. She Come did on, not Vito, break the TOS yeah. at all. This yeah. is ridiculous. A <laughs> tiny lady broke. shows up to your Jesus house Christ. and says, I'd you like to talk. Yeah, a tiny lady who could have a gun. Oh my gun god, maybe she has dude. a fucking <laughs> rocket launcher. Maybe she'll- I mean, I don't know, guys. Like, I guess that's what it feels like to be acoustic. If you're ironically one of those millions of brain dead motherfuckers who are still defending Sniper Wolf to this day, despite all of that crazy evidence coming out. Like, I'm sure all of you watching this video right now, you can literally picture like a fucking stalker stealing everything from you. Like, the way you look, the way you're dressing, the way, you're, the way you fucking talk. Like, you know that shit must be creepy and disturbing as fuck. But it gets even worse than that. After stealing everything from As You Land, Sniper Wolf even went as far as to weaponize her whole audience, gaslit the fuck out of them, and made it seem as if it was As You Land who stole everything from Sniper Wolf. Today we're gonna be rating my lookalikes. Wait, hold up. These videos look familiar. I'm gonna have to give that one a five. <laughs> <laughs> she created the narrative that you had cloned her. Yeah. When it was the other way around. Yeah, I have fans, like, I guess playing both sides and like messaging me and telling me that she's she's DMing them and like she's kind of like encouraging people to hate on me. I think like that's very manipulative because she's in a position of power and she knows that by messaging children that they'll be starstruck. They'll believe her. They'll be this is some actual evil deviant shit. Oh, by the way, I want to make sure there's no misunderstanding between us. I am still against brain dead reaction content like XQC, XQ Cuck, Sniper Wolf, Azilan, like even Azilan is, I'm not gonna lie, like her reaction content is also brain dead. We're about to witness some instant karma. <laughs> oh, your friend stopped the car. Look how he accepts the heat. I mean, bro, you got these brain dead reactors like XQC, like they're literally reacting to anything that moves. Like for example, just yesterday, XQC literally reacted to Boogie2988 clapping cheeks. Bro, 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 this documentary is just cooked. Uh, I'm not even trolling, by the way. Uh, I watched that reaction from XQC. It was not a pretty set at all. Now, for you blessed motherfuckers who have absolutely no idea as to who Boogie2988LBs is, it's this obese motherfucker. Now imagine this Big Mac literally clapping cheeks, like butt naked clapping cheeks. It is not something you want to see. But I do fully empathize and I do defend her when it comes to Sniper Wolf literally stealing her life. Morning.
Money, 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 money.